Hey everyone, Jeremy here. Sorry for posting this episode late. I have been very, very busy at work because of everything going on in the world right now. Business has been spectacular at our location, so we've been working long hours trying to take care of everyone since I'm in grocery retail. Uh, Thanks for being understanding that the episodes come up late. Uh, This is a little bonus episode from the last episode, episode 13. I hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll be seeing you. So, um, can we have a, because it's been a long time, um, did you want to have a recording of, like, us reminding ourselves what happened last time or uh, can we just no it doesn't need to be a recording of that so Cause, cause we can we do that before here, we clap there was weird stuff going on um esme called an ambulance which i think had just shown up right um yeah I think uh, so. so y'all remember why y'all got called here um mm, 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 there was something there was like weird a, going on at the power plants or something. yeah some sort of power surge or something right yeah, a power surge did happen. And we came here and they were like, no, everything's fine and just want us to go away. <laughs> um, power surge. Yeah, I mean... Also, there was the incident with the screaming. The That's right. The incident with the screaming. There mm-hmm. was a screaming that, I, that occurred. Oh, in our brains. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that that's what happened, right? Mm-hmm. Screaming in our brains. Yeah. I mean, uh, it please also make sure emerged. you're recording right now because this is From gold. I might keep some of this. <laughs> I am recording, actually. Um, the screaming. That was, is. The, the screaming incident did happen in our brains, but it also emerged from our throats loudly. <laughs> Oh, right! I did do that, didn't I? I yeah. screamed with my voice. You and someone... <laughs> and my, my co-worker, who I, like, threw under the self-driving car earlier... Frank? Uh, yeah. I, I've already forgotten. My bond has gotten so low with him. Um, that, uh, uh, he was like, you okay? And I'm like, I... I think I did a very good job at explaining to him that I was totally fine because mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that's probably why I have the check Martin mark and persuade now that I'm thinking. About it. <laughs> <laughs> so I must not have done a very good job in convincing him that everything was totes normal. Um, geez. And we're, we're in Ch- like Illinois, right? North of Chicago. Uh, South yeah. Of Chicago. So yeah, you're I at, have no idea. You are at the Olympian Hollow Beam Array, which is located in. Uh, it's. Where is it? So your briefing was in Chicago, and it was about an hour's drive away. Uh huh. Uh huh. Where Where did we meet in Chicago? Uh, in a uh, office building, an unmarked office building. Mm hmm. Cool. So yeah, right. you had the uh, the screaming incident that happened both in your brains and in your throats <laughs> at ten o'clock this morning. Uh, right. Uh, uh, about an hour later, yes, Oliver. We right. We got Let's our go call to say we had to come to this place. Right. Because there so, was a, and we tried to con, uh, and then we tried to see if there were flights that could actually get us there yes and we you... decided to bend the laws of, <laughs> of physics and nature we, we messed around for far too long pretending that we were actually genuinely going to buy these tickets right yeah so uh when you got to the briefing uh it wasn't your normal case officer and also there was another person there uh that you know as inspector hua um mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. she's been accompanying you here um, That's right. Your uh, new uh, uh, case officer calls herself uh, uh, Eve Carpenter. Uh, she said that uh, because of the history of the technology at the Olympian Hollow Beam Array, uh, it's been on. Oliver, you're going to have to do that somewhere else, bud. That's way too loud. What is he doing? <laughs> He's. Uh, here, just give it to me. The poor boy. 
All he wants to do is shake a can of change behind his father. Throw it out of the way. <laughs> it's not recyclable. Okay, so, uh, the uh, Olympian hollow beam array had technology that interested the group, and that was all that she would call it. She did not, like, I think at one point, uh, uh, Cindy almost said the words Delta Green, and she, like, cut her off and said the group. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, DG, the group. The group. <laughs> that is definitely um, what it is. And, uh,. So, uh, she was sending y'all to the Olympian Hollow Beam Array, uh, uh, not a new high-tech physics lab, uh, not far from Fermilab, uh, run by some researchers. Uh, sh- there had been a, uh, uh, today at 10 o'clock, uh, the array went online for the first time, um, and, uh, after y'all uh, tried to get some information from her, and she didn't really have all that much, uh, she got a call and let you know that there had been an unexpected power surge at the array that shut down its power. Uh, mm-hmm. She didn't know what had happened there and sent y'all on your way. Uh, you got new credentials. You got uh, a classification um, f- uh, with the DOE uh, to make this Operation Observer effect. Uh, and you also got an unmarked, I think y'all took just the van, the unmarked van with, uh, a, yeah. me- a medical bag and some handguns and a burner cell phone that you could use to contact, uh, right. Agent Carpenter. And my fake name is Luis Stevenson. Mm-hmm. And what was, uh, Tabitha's new fake name? I do not remember. Uh... Let me see if I can find it for you. Tanya Jones. It's Tanya Jones. It's what? Cheryl Jones? Tanya. (coughs) Tanya. Tanya Tanya. Jones. Okay. From Uh, the DOE. That um, says Cheryl Tuttletree on your... Yeah, Cheryl Tuttletree was my FBI alias. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's been blown at this point. Okay, well... Um... Okay, um, so... So what do y'all remember about what happened at the uh, hollow beam array itself? Well, there was the sick dude who they were like, he's to- totes fine. It's totes normal. <laughs> and he um, definitely was not. Yeah. Was that, that Ichikawa? That was Dr. Takagawa. Takagawa. Yeah. I figured for sure that you would have recognized this picture, John, but I guess not. Sorry? What? I, I thought for sure that you would have re- record his, uh, recognized his uh, picture for his character. Well, yeah, it's Hayao Miyazaki. <laughs> Of course, I reckon. Jeremy, no, he please. just disappeared. Yep. You killed him. <laughs> nope. I didn't kill him. Did you kill, kill Hayao Miyazaki? I didn't kill him. I mean, you guys sent him to the, uh, you guys sent him to the hospital, so. Well, we put him on, well, yeah, he got on an ambulance, right? Has the ambulance left? Yes. Uh, yeah, after you met with, uh, Jamie Campbell, the person in charge <laughs> of the this facility and she had one of the engineers evan kozak give you a tour after y'all spoke for a little bit um Mm -hmm. evan kozak was the engineer underneath uh dr takagawa um uh, uh, Esme did not participate in the tour. Instead, she stayed with Dr. Takagawa until the uh, ambulance arrived, uh, helped make sure that he got on there safely, and then went and explored the workshop uh, with the portable clean rooms, uh, finding mm-hmm. nothing that seemed amiss. Um, uh, s- uh, Cindy had uh, broken away from the tour to talk with Dr. Black uh, yep. because he seemed to, uh, like, uh, there were some notes on his desk that caught your eye and your attention. Oh. Do you remember hey, the things that Jeremy, he told you? Jeremy, yes? I'm going to drop out of Discord for a minute because you are breaking up really horribly. I'm going to see if I can try to get it to uh, connect more cleanly because I can't yeah. understand you at all. It, yeah, it's kind of doing the same thing for me a little okay, bit. Okay, well, um, that, that was Jeremy. probably me then, so let me drop out and drop back in. Okay. Oh my gosh, Jeremy. Right? 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 <laughs> right. Uh, Jeremy, when you find this when you're editing, I hope you're back. <laughs> Maybe. He's back. Y- y'all know I was still in there when you started doing all of that, right? You no, can we see. 
You can see who's in the channel. Yeah, but Jeremy, I've currently got the Hollow Bream Array organization, the Dr. Black's notes, <laughs> Time Dot is, um, my personal uh, uh, character sheet, Audacity, and then Discord's all behind all that junk. So you know what I wasn't doing? I wasn't watching Discord. <laughs> well, as someone so told me what? last night when I was you complaining snoop. about having too many windows yes. open, they said, You're well, snoop. get a third monitor. <laughs> yeah, on the laptop that I'm using. They actually do make secondary laptop uh, monitors now. That's kind of interesting. You, like, attach them to the rear of the laptop and then slide them out. That's weird. Kind of cool. Huh. I mean, it works. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, but, I mean... So, do you remember the things that Dr. Black told you when you were interviewing well, him? you know, he was acting, uh, kind of weird cool, if I remember yeah. right. I do not remember the specifics of what he said. I do have his notes, which were a thing that, uh, I have a photographic memory of, of course. Yeah. In that there is a <laughs> photograph of them. Mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. I can read them dramatically now, if you'd like. Yeah, go right ahead. Beyond space-time? <laughs> or source space-time? <laughs> Flutes, drums, high energy, low e energy. What does that really represent? And then the final note. D patterns, awareness, and then something that's blacked out. So thank you for channeling about... William Shatner there. You did a really good job. <laughs> uh, you, well, you're you're welcome. Uh, please, I do not want any lawyers calling me about <laughs> like Miss <laughs> W um, Shatner. W Shatner. Um, he's definitely gonna be the one that lives the longest of the original crew, and that's just a shame. But <laughs> I, I mean... do love him. I do love him. He's had too good of a life. That's to be problem. fair, he did give us that incredible album. It's great. He's got two albums, at least. Oh, I didn't yeah. listen as much to the, to the other one, but I think he's got Christmas music, too. <laughs> yeah. I prefer um, the Spider-Man Christmas album. He would. Would? Um... So anyway, yeah. So he was talking about sp like space or time being like alive, if I remember right. Um, yeah, it, like he uh, uh, he was telling you a lot about the uh, uh, the how the let's see universe. Oh yes, and I remember this from last time. The support staff backgrounds are blank. Yeah. Do you think that uh, means something? It, it yeah. means that even though it's been like three weeks since we last played, I still can't get that .png to upload. <laughs> I've been able to get other things to upload, but that particular one does not want to. It's cursed. There's, there's really no important information on there. So, um, okay. so their whole lives, so, their personalities, their thoughts. So we need to interrogate these people in the support staff. Yeah. That's not important That's to you. I'm um, um, yes, so I spoke with, that was Dr. Philip Black for a correct. while, and they were like, the woman do, giving me the tour, which, was that Evan, or was that the that guy? That was the Evan, tour? okay. So y'all have not met Helen Klinger or Jingfei Zhang. Uh, you have Henry Gonzalez and Karen Henson are the security guards on duty, and you've learned uh -huh. that Joe Sherry and Herbert Pimlot are both off duty, as well as the janitor Maria Suarez. Uh, yeah. But hey, Jeremy. Jingfei yes. Jeremy, I'm only catching like one word in three again. Yeah, I, I'm. I can understand. Maybe I'm getting more. I'm getting the ones that you're missing. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to restart Discord, and why don't you make sure your microphone is plugged all the way in? Yeah, it is. I'm seeing everything being picked up by Audacity, so... Yeah, I mean, th this has been something that's happened to you uh, in prior things for me, at least the level of breaking up I'm getting. Um, yeah, so I don't know. it more than likely has to do with our not-so-great upload speed on our internet connection. Yeah, I mean, uh, it could be a Discord setting or something, but I don't know what it would be. Maybe a sensitive... Um, Thing. I could try oh. changing uh, to push the talk. Uh, um, I, actually, I think what, what might actually be better is right now if it's set to like auto um, auto uh, sensitivity. Yeah, so, it is. Turn. Maybe turn that off and then adjust yourself manually because it could be that it keeps muting you 
for some reason. I'm just going to do push to talk because that worked out pretty well for me last night. Uh, Tabitha, are you talking at all? Because you're just a white. I'm, it says that you're making noise. I'm, I'm not talking at all, but can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you fine. Yeah, I can hear you now. That's weird. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I do I, have the air purifier on in here so that I can breathe. So maybe that's what it is? Mm -hmm. Who knows? People are so selfish these days. <laughs> Can't believe it. Uh, you know, you know what, we, if, we still haven't done the clap thing. I yeah, don't know and I, there's matter. no way I can do the clap of push the talk. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, here, let me change it back. <laughs> you know what? I can actually turn the input sensitivity down. Uh, from I had it up really high from when Tabitha and I were in the room together. So yeah. maybe that's... Do I sound I mean, any better? Yeah, actually, you do for now, I'd yeah. say probably better for now. Well, let's let's try that. Okay, so let's do the clap on seven twenty four fifteen. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> so bad, Jim. <Jenna. laughs> All right, um, so, yeah, you learned that the array uh, is intended to detect completely random jitters in the beams of the array, holographic white noise, confirming the jittering of space. Because the whole purpose of this experiment was to see if there is evidence for a theory that three-dimensional reality reality is just a hologram of a uh, underlying two-dimensional reality mm -hmm. okay. um and that uh basically what you've been able to get so far is that there have been fascinating results um that, yes that, when, that's right yeah so uh uh inspector hua had continued <laughs> on the uh uh, like she went over to uh, to the cafe or whatever. Yeah, she she went to this room over here on the uh, yeah. eastern side of the building that uh, following Evan, and she's been in there uh, this whole time that you've been talking to okay. uh, to Professor Black or Doctor Black rather. Now, mm -hmm. I did take some notes about what everyone's intentions were uh, for. Uh, uh, where we were at. So, where we were picking up, Cindy just left from talking to Dr. Black. Uh, Esme is about to investigate the atrium. Um, so, that... Or the workshop area. Well, she just uh, did uh, the uh, workshop. If you look at the array grounds, oh, the right, yeah. atrium is the main building that the uh, uh, spl that the um, actual experiment is happening in. Like that's right. Uh, yes, in the T-shaped building. Yes, in the T-shaped building to the east of the building of the main building uh, that we exactly. are all currently in. Correct. We stop the I'll edit it in post. It's all those rum and cokes, Jeremy. Yeah. Rum and coke. Rum and <laughs> cokes. Um... Oh, Tabitha. Yes. I was going to ask if you had read the books for or seen The Expanse. I have seen the first couple of episodes of The Expanse. I have not read the books. I've heard they're good, though. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I have not read the books. I've seen the first season and a half so far. Mm -hmm. um, and I've enjoyed yes. it. Or not uh, Coke, but... Uh, water. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. No. And I was like, oh, this... I wonder, because I know you read a lot, if this would have been something you would have read. But I have not yet, um, but it's it's been on my radar for a really long time. It just hasn't happened yet. No. I keep waiting for them to yeah. get it at the library, and they keep not doing it. So. Mm, yeah. Well, it's... Um, I've been watching on Amazon streaming. They mm -hmm. bought the um, Am uh, Netflix. Sorry, it was on the Sci-Fi Channel, but Sci-Fi Channel canceled it. But um, Jeff Bezos liked the show, so he's like, "Oh, I'm Jeff Bezos," so he bought it. <laughs> right, um, like you do. So when... now it's an Amazon exclusive show. Gotcha. 
But um, uh, the writer, I did not know, recognize the name for. So it's actually a like a, a made-up name for two guys, um, one of whom is George R. R. Martin's personal assistant. Um, really? Who wrote? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it's the same guy who wrote the story for the Telltale Game of Thrones game, huh. um, which was quite good. But yeah. all right, well, I am back. So, Esme, what? What have you decided? What are you going to do? Oh, Tabitha. Yes. Yeah, so the first, um, just just FYI, mm-hmm. um, the the first couple of episodes of The Expanse are not super. It takes a little while for it to kind of ramp up. But then, then it's gotten, once the world gets kind of built out, it's much more interesting. Gotcha. Um, but, yeah, not that there aren't a billion things to watch. Or, <laughs> so. Right? In my Discord, so you guys can't hear me eat this cookie, Jeremy. It's gonna make a great time. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna take another bite of this cookie while she's doing her alertness roll. Ooh, she got it. Yum. Just like this cookie. Mmm. Mmm. Last cookie time. Time for the last of the cookie while they fight. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. Mm. The cookie. Such good radio. 